Hey everybody, XCI here for Blind Let's Play of Dragon Age Origins, and I have to finish my conversation here with Morgan. I think I still have a track left. I got the rest of the team back there. I got Liliana, I got Sten, Alistair, Zevran, and Mogs back there. I always forget about poor Mog right there, watching the pa watching the entrance of the pass into this uh, campsite. And uh, yeah, let's uh, not waste any time. Yes. I want to also get. Um, I, I want to check the stuff at uh, Soldier's Peak. I need to check the, the the gear there. And then I want to hit up the forest real quick for the elf route. I know that's going to open up a bunch of stuff. And then I want to go to Soldier's Pass, I think is the DLC name. Uh, in the comments, someone suggested to uh, get my ass moving in that direction. So let's see how much I get done today. So I'd like to ask you a question. So life in the wilds must have been very lonely. I'd like to discuss something personal. I'm going to go with, uh, so life in the wilds. At must times, have been perhaps. Lonely. A world full of people and buildings and things was all very foreign to me. If I wished companionship, I ran with the wolves and flew with the birds. If I spoke, it was to the trees. That always makes me think that she's, she, like, I think I mentioned early, early on, um, my theory that she started as an animal. Or that's what Flemeth, I don't know, Flemeth turns animals into humans or something like that. But I'd be way off, right? But that's, it seems cool to me if that were the case. But um, let's keep going. And did they speak back? And that seemed normal to you? But you eventually left. That sounds wonderful. So Xander would think that sounds wonderful. Um, because of his affinity to nature. So that sounds wonderful. For a time... But one can only remain a child for so long. I recall the first time I crept beyond the edge of the wilds. I did so in animal form, remaining in the shadows and watching these strange townsfolk from afar. Extreme I happened upon a noblewoman by her carriage, adorned in sparkling garments the likes of which I had never before seen. I was dazzled. This, to me, seemed what true wealth and beauty must be. See, that's a strange I concept. I up behind her and stole a hand mirror from the carriage. It was encrusted in oh. gold and crystalline gemstones, and I hugged it to my chest with delight as I sped back to the wilds. I bet you there's something to do with a hand mirror as a gift. This is going to be important. I was going to say, it seems weird that someone who grew up in the wilds would have a concept of wealth and beauty. So that's, that's throwing me off a little bit. I have a feeling this story is going to go somewhere, though. And so here we have, like, again, gold and crystalline gemstones. So she's gotten a, a fascination for things that are ritzed up or just pretty things, things that are shiny. Wait a minute. Isn't that the whole thing with crows? They pick up shiny objects. And her name's Morgan. It's kind of like a crow god. I'm reading way too deep into this. So, uh, so you were a thief. I can't imagine Flemeth was pleased. Why would Flemeth care that she stole something? Uh, what happened then? I'm just gonna go with what happened then. Get the Flemeth rest of the story. Was furious she with was me. furious. Why though? I was a child and had not yet come into my full power, and I had risked oh. discovery for the sake of a pretty bauble. So not because of the to theft, teach me a lesson, Flemeth took the mirror and smashed it. it upon oh, the ground. Oh, there it is. So there's the sign. So I was heartbroken. So she loves this mirror as a child, it gets smashed, and I bet you any money there's a mirror to be found or purchased or something like that as a gift to get to Morgan or something. So I have, like, it was in Draste, so I feel like I'm getting to the point now where the characters are starting to suggest the thing that uh, that would be important as a gift. So I have, it was in Draste's, that flower, and Draste's breath or something for Liliana, because it reminded me of her mother. Uh, Zevran talked about the Antivan leather boots. I feel like that's going to come up. What did Alistair talk about? I don't think I got anything from Alistair. It's probably going to be something tied to the Templars or, or... I don't know, Knighthood? I don't know. Um, don't have anything from Sten yet either, actually. And then from her, I think it's... So far as this is Mirror. Uh, but you were just a child. I have a hard time picturing you heartbroken. Flemeth was right, no doubt. No, I don't think she was. I think it was just a child doing child stuff, but 
I do have a hard time picturing her heartbroken. But she probably came to learn how to grow thick skin because of how Flemeth raised her. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say this one. I've only ever known her to be tough. Yeah. That is because I learned my lesson well. Beauty and love are fleeting and have no meaning. Survival has meaning. So she's all about. Power has meaning. Well, I don't know about that. Without those lessons, I would not be here today, as difficult as they might have been. So Xander can get all behind the survival aspect, and that's, I think, how their relationship is growing. That's how he can kind of, like, he gets her from that perspective is the power-hungry part Xander has a bit of a problem with. He doesn't think everything is about gaining power. It's about protecting the weak, you know? If you have the power, then use it to protect the weak. Then he'll get behind the power. But, uh, I feel sorry for you, but you don't need to live that way any longer. They made you stronger, didn't they? The lessons? Yeah, the lessons. Those are harsh lessons to teach a child. I'm going to go with this one. They made you strong, though, didn't they? Because I'm going to... I'm going to... I want to... Because I feel like that's what she's... That's who she is right now. You know? She lives by the lessons she's learned. She's defined by the lessons she's learned. So I'm going to go with that. They did indeed. Yeah. To return to your original question, perhaps my time in the wilds was indeed lonely. But such was how it had to be. I find myself at times wondering what might have become of the girl with the beautiful golden mirror... But That's her fantasies item. have no place amidst reality. That's her item. Plus five. I'm going to be hyper aware of these things now. I think it's still... It's Sten and Alistair. I haven't figured out yet. Yes? Uh, okay, let's see what else she has. I'd like to ask you something. I'd like to discuss something personal. I'd like to ask you something. So, full of questions, are you? I thought my, life was, my light was giving out, but it's actually the screens flickering from the flames that's messing me up. So, uh, can you teach others to become shape changers? I don't know why that's still an option. I feel like I've already gone through this. She's already taught me. I want to leave that one alone. Tell me, are you really Flemeth's daughter? Yeah, Xander would want to get... I assume you were actually asking the truth whether Flemeth herself gave birth to me. Truly, Just, I do not know. Yeah, maybe. I once asked Flemeth that very question and she merely laughed at me. It is not inconceivable that she could capture a chastened man, or perhaps change to a more attractive form to attract him willingly. Succubus. I find it more difficult to imagine her with child. Oh, I see. Why? Why can she not have a child? She was not always an old woman as she is now, was she? Could she have stolen you as a child? Can an abomination even reproduce? Oh yeah, I guess our last conversation talked about her being an abomination? Like she doesn't know what she is or something like that? Xander would be a little concerned about this. He's starting to get the sense that this is probably the truth. Yeah, because she has stolen you as a child. It seems likely, does it not? In an animal form, a babe could easily be spirited away and raised as Flemeth's own. I do know the tales of Flemeth having many daughters, yep. even though I have never met another. And Flemeth has always treated me as her blood. Yeah, and for what purpose? That is very strange. She doesn't seem very motherly. Does that mean you love her? Does what mean you love her? That she treats... She, she treats her as her blood. Is this line trying to get at the fact that Morgan doesn't love anything? <laughs> She's cold. But well, how does she define love, maybe? So, like, if I treat her as family because she's part of my companions, this is how Xander would like to have a relationship with the people on his troop. Would that translate into m more affection for her? Like, as a friendly, like a, a, like a bond of sorts? Not so much like a love but a bond does she even know what bonds are <laughs> what if you have real family out there i don't think she'd care anymore that's been bred out of her <laughs> uh nurtured out of her out of her uh a cozy family of abominations and apostates sounds lovely <laughs> okay i'm not gonna joke or poke um that's an interesting one i'm not gonna say that one i don't care about you know, I don't have an opinion on Flemeth, uh, Flemeth as a mother figure. I just don't know what the hell I'm dealing with. 
I'm going to say this one. What if you have real family out there? See what I would have nothing thinks. in common with them, yeah. nor any need for what they might provide. Yeah, she just moves on. Flemeth taught me everything I needed to learn. How to survive, the meaning of power, the truth of men. If other mothers do not teach these things, then I believe them the lesser. I don't know about this last part. Mothers teaching the meaning of power. That making them the lesser. I suppose that's true. Is there no place for nurturing and love? I don't think Xander would really... He understands the value of this in certain like cultures and relationships and stuff, but he, he personally doesn't have... He's probably the most like Morgan in this regard. Like he doesn't have an, he doesn't feel the need to have this in his life. I don't know. Now I see where you get it from. <laughs> Her coldness. Flemeth well, taught. Oh yeah, okay. Survive. Yeah, sure. She got taught by someone who valued those things: survival and power, and the truth of men. So basically, that they're all out for selfish, to get for selfish reasons or something like that. I don't know. I thought that mothers do not. I mean, mothers should teach some of those things. I don't know about the meaning of power. I guess I suppose that's true. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I suppose that's true. You suppose it's true? Is that the wrong answer? It is true. Oh. <laughs> Take yourself. You do not honestly desire such things from me, do you? Nope. Tis better to be free of such cloying and cluttering delusions as You're love. You're a maniac. <laughs> I care about you as a companion maniac, maniac, but love. No, I certainly don't want that from you. Oh, I see. I guess this might be leading into some sort of relationship track or something. You're right. Love is so unnecessary. That is how Xander feels. It feels like it limits people who have motivations in life that could be compromised by having deep relationships. Uh, and what if I did want that? I see they are maneuvering into some sort of relationship thing, I think. How would that work with Morgan? Doesn't seem like the kind to adapt well to that. Uh, why limit yourself? Limit what? To be free with love or love? Uh, delusions of love. Uh, I must say you're right. Love is so unnecessary. That's how Xander feels. There. I am glad you agree. I tire of this discussion. Let us move on, shall we? I do disagree. Ella, plus 11. We totally did not disagree. Okay, so we're cool. Uh, let's Yet? go with one more time. I'd like to so, ask you something. Ooh, full of questions, are you? Yet, uh, can you teach others to become... Sh I'm going to see where, where this goes. if I had the desire to. I do not. I do not. <laughs> okay. Perhaps you'd find a desire then. I should have known you'd be selfish, bitch. Jesus. And why not? As you wish. As you wish. Don't care. I think I already learned that last episode. I don't know. Uh, and let's go personal track. Yes. Let's see where this goes. I'd like to discuss something we personal. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Oh, I see. Making a play. Do I make a... I don't know. I don't think Xander would make a play. Interesting. I'd like to see what happens in the narrative by pushing this along, but I don't think it's going to happen yet. From an RP standpoint, I don't feel like... Anything's happened to um, lead to this. So I'm not going to do it. I know you guys are probably like, what? but why? It's just a game. I'm not going to do it, I said. <laughs> we need to discuss us. No, I don't. And never mind. I'm done. Okay, uh, getting too close for comfort. Time to go. <laughs> Time to go. Time to move on. That's awesome, though. Oh, where's she at, then? Hold on. Oh, yeah. 42. Jeez. Christ. It's good. Okay. Um... I changed some stuff up in the AI again because I'm, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be hyper attentive as to what's going on. I moved this to 50% because at this point, I don't know whether it's you've lost 75% of your health or if you are at 75% of your health. So uh, the statements are not working either way for me in the tests I've ran, uh, that I've ran. So I don't care. I'm a, I'm a, uh, if anything, I might move this up eventually. It's just right now I only have two of these things. That's why I need to get to the forest. Although... I know that's going to open a bunch of stuff, but I need to get elf root and make a ton of potions. I'm going to waste a lot of money on potions. It's unfortunate, but it has to be done. I'm going to leave the rest of this AI stuff alone. I think these are solid setups if they work. <laughs> if they work. I might be doing something that's canceling the AI, like the logic flow. I might be doing something while in combat that cancels this AI flow. I don't know. This is definitely, definitely not working. 
and I don't know how to change that outside of moving this up to spot number one, but I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna play it through. I'm gonna see if I hit a random encounter, and then I will pay attention to this. But for all intents and purposes, like I don't want to just do this. I feel like I've got I've given characters the fifth and sixth slots sort of thing. I want to take advantage of this. But if I have to get if I get so frustrated like I did a couple episodes ago, I'm disabling all tactics. <laughs> Screw that. I also need to find out how to hold them, and I think you guys said it's something down here or something. Like I got a set. There's some, there's like two icons here I notice in editing when I get a party together. You know what? Let's just move let's move forward. I'm gonna go to Soldier's Peak, because I wanna see what items I left in that in that party crate. Um Yes. Indeed. Let's yes. go with these guys still. And I'm going to go up here. Soldier's Peak. Am I going to be able to make this without an encounter? What's this thing again? Oh, shit. I don't know what this is. These open up with random quests, right? They weren't here before. All right, so no random quests. That's okay. I can deal with that. I'm still waiting to raise her because I think I want to give her another class or something. I don't know. I, I saw I've totally forget where I was going with things but I will I'll figure it out <laughs> as soon as I take a moment to do so I need to see yeah sure let's see if there's anything else I should probably have sold some stuff I'm probably carrying crap I don't need like Dalish armor why do I need this right now yeah doesn't matter okay so I want to find out 36 magic um, I think I got her at 27 magic now so I need I want to find Where's Morgan stuff at? Leather gloves. Let me do Morgan first because I can remember hers. I don't have anything else for Morgan. So hers is a 36 magic. Then I have 26. I have hel heavy helmet. Who is this for? Surely this will fit on someone. I don't know. And then we have the warden set. Warden commander set here. But this. Oh, stat. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was for Alistair. I want Sten to take this thing right here eventually. That's 38, though. But you know, if I could put this stuff on Sten now, I'm going to put this on Sten now. Okay, so let's close this up. Let's check equipment. Let's go to Sten. And let's get Sten upgraded. Wait, is it even better? Oh, yeah, for sure it's better. Ooh, Viridian. Oh, man. Oh man, 75% greater right there. Pow. And then we got... Where are the rest of them? Oh yeah, two. Oh yeah, double that up. A couple ammo. Oh, you're gonna look sweet. Reward and helmet. A little better. I lose the mental resistance, but that's okay. It looks a little weird. I don't like those wings. And we have chest plate. Ooh, look at that though. Oh my god, it's more than two times better like he totally needed an armor upgrade that's probably why he was getting trashed in those fights as well i, I can't i mean hold on oh, stamina regen that's okay but oh my god critical and backstab Whew. why would he need that that's almost better on zevran it's crazy being a critical critical is pretty sweet and there you go boom oh now he's looking pretty aggressive what sword do you have right now buddy um Tier 3. Do I not have anything better for this man? No, I don't think I do. Uh, nope. Nope. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, that fire is like... I can hear it in the different side of my headset as I turn the camera around. That's That was freaky. I need, to, I need to get him a better sword. Is there anything I can sell? Viridian. I mean, I feel like that's like... A, that's good gear that I should carry just in case but this stuff right here maybe not like this looks like weak stuff at this point scale screw it gone is this stuff any bit this nah screw it it's like tier one I can't I can't be bothered with tier one stuff at this point I'm just going to assume that it's not better and I, I mean it's plus one plus one to dexterities and stuff like that that's pretty important you know what I mean like am I gonna lose money buying this back now probably but I should probably have this on um, Zephyrin to increase his dexterity maybe I don't know splint mail tier 2 nah screw it I'll get better stuff even this splint mail boots nah I know I probably carried that for a reason but 
I'm just gonna make some bold choices here to move on. What the hell was that? Is that a dog or a fox? Dog. There we go. His cousin or Warden. brother or whoever this is. He's got the good gear. So let's do... I need a double. I need... Oh, 32 strength. Hold on. No, that's, this is probably good for him. He needs to just... He needs to be able to destroy things. I need stent to be... There we go. More damage. It's got two slots for whatever. I still have to figure out how to do that. Critical chance goes up. Armor penetration goes... Everything goes up. And he can do it. And it's only a gold. Is this a two-handed weapon? No, it's not. But... Should he do a maul? 13, 15. Nah, man, this is this is the one. He needs to. I need to buy this right now for two-handed an axe. Damage 14. No, it's this one right here. Great sword, it is. There we go. So I'm gonna do great sword for Sten. I don't think there's anything that benefits me. Tier five. Wow. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Should I wait? Because I'm going to the elves, and I feel like the elves are going to have something cooler, like something more appropriate to Xander. So I'm not going to buy Xander anything here. I'm going to leave it as, I'm going to leave it like that for now. I just, I stand as the man. I need stand to be a little bit more uh, punishing in combat. Where was it? This one? No, this one. Great sword. Red steel. Yeah, I mean, he his is already pretty good, but mm -mm. I got to get that up. Okay, so uh, Zevern, actually. Let me look at Zevern's gear again. I know it's a bit of cleanup, guys. Needs to happen, though. I'm afraid I'm going to get caught up in something. I already know it's coming in the woods because of uh, some lore or something mentioned werewolves. That would have been awesome to discover by accident, though. Um, so what did I have? Yeah, this is tier 3 stuff. So the Dalish leather would have given us a plus 1. To dexterity, but I have a feeling this stuff gives me better armor. Somehow I feel like he could benefit off of who had was it this guy that I just see it here? Warden. Hello, buddy. Let me look at your armor real quick. You had some leather, studded leather. Let's just te check Zevern real quick because I I want to buff him up a little bit. So there you go. That's a huge a tier six. Inscribed? What does inscribed mean? What's the difference? What's the difference? Oh, better armor. So studded leather. I can upgrade him to studded leather. And... Yeah, that's a huge... Ooh, and that's got two slots. Three gold there, though. Should I do it? <laughs> Should I do it? Ooh. God, it's so, it's so tempting. So let me just, okay, so let's, yeah, I'm going to do it. Stud of leather, armor, inscribed or reinforced. Let's see, 699, 79, inscribed. And this could take slots, and I don't know what that is right now, but it might be worth the gold I'm spending right here. So I'm going to do an armor. I'm going to do studded leather boots. Inscribed, please. Kablam. I want one, please. That is thunder outside not in the game <laughs> messed me up right now because my house shook my actual house shook that might be why my dog barked earlier what is going on outside these headphones are amazing uh and then i want some studded oh man my house is just trembling right now is that in my audio i don't know i want inscribed gloves i want i want a perfect set are you not going to give me that you're not going to give me that reinforced it is then huh it's still better he gets the crit damage and stuff like that, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Um, and what am I missing? Studded leather helmet? Studded leather helmet inscribed. Why didn't I get studded leather helmet and uh, studded gloves inscribed? That's weird. I'll do one here. And let's do this now. Let's be... Let's, oh my god. Yeah, it's so much better. Let's do this. And then we have... This is the only one. I wish I could get inscribed here because I feel like uh, it's just not. It's just not. It's just not a set, you know. I need it to be a set. <laughs> We're good. Let's go. Where are we at with time? We're at half an hour. Well, I'll probably cut. I'll cut around some of that. But let's get on out of here. Um, my next stop is. Whoa! Oh wait, what is this? I don't want to do it. 
what are that? Yeah, Canari Mercenaries? I don't think so. If Sten is any indication of what I'm going to be dealing with, I don't need a group of them. I mean, I'm tempted to see what that is, but no, I'm not doing, I'm not going to do that. Civil War, is that the thing that, um, the Terran Loan Game thing? I have to, like, intercept this or something like that? I don't know. I forget what this is. I should probably get to doing this. I mean, I should get to do all of these things, but someone, this is where people are telling me to go. I need to make my way to Sul Sulcher's Pass for whatever reason. <laughs> someone suggests, I forget your name, I'm sorry. I'm trying to remember now, I can't remember it. But uh, yeah, that, that's the next place I should be going. Ban Lauren's Lands. I actually don't even remember what this is anymore. So, all good. And let's just go Priscilla and Outskirts. This is going to start something, so hell, I might run into an encounter here that's a long walk there it is here we go testing out the new gear testing out the ai this could be infuriating to me don't that is not an oh it's an abomination i thought it was a revenant man i don't want to deal with revenants wait they're behind me wait why do you turn backwards okay here we go here we go um i have no idea if that's saved but that's going to be infuriating to because i've done a lot now so if i die here i guess i can save during a can you save during a fight? I don't know, but I probably don't want to do that either. It looks like it's only one. How bad could this be? I have defensive mode on right now. I don't want defensive mode on. I want it off. How do I just turn it off? There we go. I'm going to get that stamina back. I'm going to target him. I'm going to go straight with... Um, I'm not going to do arrow slaying. That's not going to work for nothing. they got to be hurt somewhat. So I'm going to go with a critical shot for my first move. Uh, Morgan, yes, I'm going to micromanage right now because I don't trust anybody. Uh, I'm going to get her to uh, put this vulnerability hex because I'm going to do frost weapons. Right, so I'm going to click that on that guy. Then I'm going to do Zevran. It's too late to go south, I think. I'm going to try, though. Because I don't think he knows we're here yet. Maybe he does. I don't know. And then, and then Sten... Stan is going to do... He's, he's armored up for this now, so he's definitely going to take a threatening stance. Kapow. Zevran did not go invisible. Okay, so no problem. So that settles the next move here. Let me just... Let me just... Uh, through sheer force of will, the character remains in control on the battlefield. I don't know what this abomination is going to do. I do not want... Stan, there we go. This guy. Sorry. This right here. Mark of Death. I want to Mark of Death this bastard. Fun, no? I have to get close for this? Why Why are you running towards the guy? Um, sounds, seems like a strange thing to do, but I'm doing health regen on Sten right now. Cast it, there we go. And um, do I have the hex on him? I do. S okay, Xander, did you do your thing? You did. I'm gonna reduce your the guy's armor next. Okay, I need to get back. I need to pay attention to Zevran for a second. Let's get in the rear, and then let's go. Let's just go with the strongest of the set. It's it's uh, flurry, and then the dual weapon sweep to try to knock him down. I doubt it. He's an orange, but I got to take the chance here. Uh, I hope this turns my camera around. It is not. This is when I start getting confused because I don't know if something's gone wrong. Oh, I forgot to do frost weapons. There we go. There we go. They're on. We're still doing good. I want to try to... He's not using weapons, so this isn't useful. Sunder arms, pommel struck. One of these, like, knocks the guy past... It. There we go. Reduces... No, no, that's just to reduce speed. One of these things... Who cares? Critical strike. Let's do critical strike. And then let's see what Zevran's at. Let's do a duel to try to knock him on his ass. And then at this point, I'm going to also try to do a pinning. So one of these things should, should work. Okay, no problem. Now we're gonna give Sten an extra little, a little bit of help here to keep him going. And I'm pretty sure we annihilated this abomination. And bye bye, bye bye abomination. I don't know what that was, but Zevran took it in the face. And um, pile of rags. What As you say. did I win here? Feldspar ring. A silver band with a fancy... Oh, it's just a cell? What is it? Gem? The gem is rather common, but the setting is crafted with care. Doesn't say quest item. Uh, someone's dead. 
But Reynold is dead. There's a Reynold dead. A Master Mage's journal, the last part, outlines the failed pursuit of his misguided apprentice. Did the apprentice turn into an abomination? Oh, I'm going to click on this now. Uh, oh, was this one of the things I had to do? You found Reynolds' body along with the abomination that killed him. Reynolds' journey tells the tale of his last days. Return the collective. Return to the collective for your reward. Sweet. I, I, I love finishing quests that I don't plan for. Uh, is there anything else? I, oh, yeah. You know I'm after you, but I'm going to have, a, as far as I've been told, an unlimited supply of elf root as soon as I get to the elves. Is that it? What? What's this way? Is it all the same? Yeah. That went way better than I thought. I was actually not paying attention to the AI. I'm just ignoring it completely. <laughs> Seems to be working for me. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. Cinematic with elves. I'm in. Andaran Atishan, my friend. You have come a long Andaran way. Atishan I give you the welcome you, of our clan. My friend. These are curious companions you have. Might I ask the purpose of your visit? To uh, rule the world. I must speak with your keeper immediately. I have come on behalf of the Grey Warden Sister. I seek the clan's hospitality. I cannot speak of my purpose here. Uh, this would be Xander's stance because he's just going to say straight up, on behalf of the Grey Warden, he's going to own that. It's his title. It's his, it's his right, his right now, I guess, to recreate the Grey Warden. So he's got the to spread Wardens, the message. You have joined their ranks. How unusual! So she doesn't Excuse hate it. Excuse my surprise. Good. I will take you to the keeper right away. Sweet. Uh, did I just did I just cut a bunch of corners? Did I did I bypass the uh, the airport uh, security line right there? Hmm. I see. We have a guest, mm -hmm. and one of our own, no less. This one is from one of our sister clans to the north, keeper, but claims to have come on behalf of the Grey Wardens. The Grey Wardens? How unusual did that you, one of our own cool should join their ranks. You are. How did yes. such a thing occur? I don't know yet. It's a long story. Perhaps another time. I had little choice in the matter. That seems resentful. I didn't. Because I had to do it in order to stay alive? Or something like that? I was cursed or some crap? But I embrace it now. They need all the assistance they can get. That seems like the mm. reasonable answer. It is as I feared then. Light and whatnot. Very well. Let us speak. Masir and seems to be taking this. You may return to your post. Manuvinen Keeper. Now, perhaps we might introduce ourselves. Okay. Let's do this. I am Zathrian, Keeper and Horan of this clan. You are? My name is Xander. A pleasure to meet you. You don't need to know who I am. Call me Xander. I like to always say a pleasure to meet you. That worked with Morgan back in the day. I feel like off the right foot when you say pleasure to meet you. If you came to bring news of the blight in the that, south, maybe they it is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Go on. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Werewolves? So their first reaction to trouble is to good flee there, from Stan. it. Curious. Looking good. Do not allow our troubles to burden you. Though I suspect they may be right now. I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Look at that. Unfortunately, we may not be I able did. to live up to no, the no, promise we made. This will require some no, explanation. Go on. Please, follow me. That doesn't look so good. There's a lot of blood. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we oh. enter this part of Ferelden. Looking good, Stan. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for that us. That would have been way more shocking. They ambushed us. I didn't get the warning. And though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our uh, warriors lie dying as we speak. We Even with all our magic and up? healing skill, we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. Okay. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. Is there a way to stop this? I am truly sorry. Uh, is there a way to help your men? There are actual werewolves in the forest. Why did these beasts attack you? Surely you must have some warriors to spare. I will seek help elsewhere then. No, Xander would offer his help. It's his people too, which is even more encouraging. Is there, uh, is there no way to help your men? 
he wouldn't even care about this. I mean, he'd be shocked, but he's already kind of been prepared for this. Um, Multiverse Xander is all about taking down abominations, not abominations like this game. It's just anything that's out of the norm, like undead, werewolves, mutations, things like that. Depends on the setting, right? So is there any way to help your men? The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... That would be no trivial task to retrieve. What do you need? I'm good at non-trivial tasks. <laughs> yes. Uh, but you're going to ask me to get it anyhow, right? No, no, you're talking about a werewolf. I, I'm going to be a little cocky here because it's my people. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. There we go. But this now task is too full. dangerous for us. Skyrim Xander was a werewolf, by the way, for those interested. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, mean to be. but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. But yeah, it just happened. He he he, he ended up getting close with the companions and Skyrim. For those of you who have played it, uh, it's a group of uh, I don't know if this is spoilery or not. I think they let you know early on. I don't remember. But anyways, ends up being a werewolf clan. You find out, yeah, you can actually use this power for good. As you've seen, what I did with that whole blood thing, gluk 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 gluk, and then I get some powers, even though it has to be opening yourself up to evil. It's how you use the power after you got it. That's the challenge Xander's always willing to embrace for the greater good. So. Not that I want to be a werewolf in this game, because I don't know what that means, but we'll see what, what this brings. So I'll find this white wither fang for you. Have you considered seeking outside help? You said you could perhaps destroy the curse. I mean, perhaps it's still glass half full as far as Xander's concerned. So I'll find this wither fang for you. Straight I to must the point. warn you that Boom. more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. I'm a little worried about that. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. I've heard. Where there is so much death. The veil separating the spirit realm from our like own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, not living revenant, or dead. Not revenants, please, but if you can revenants. indeed help, then I wish you luck. It's the only thing, I, maybe the ogre, I wouldn't mind fighting another ogre to see how I fare, but the revenant, man, I don't think I'm ready for a revenant. <laughs> Just psychologically, I don't think so. It was a long time since you guys gave me hints on how to take one out. I, I still remember, I think, because I, I burned it in my brain, but... I don't like the idea of it. I have seen, I have some questions for you. I need some equipment. I would like to look at his equipment. Uh, but before that, I have some questions. Let's, let's Make them learn quick, some more. if you please. I have much to do here. My apprentice Lanaya or Seyra, or I can go to someone else. could provide you with answers just as easily. As long as you're not offended. How do I find Witherfang? Do you have any advice? I'm going to ask him. I don't, Watch for the white I didn't read wolves. the second option. Shoot. They are his eyes and ears in the forest. Uh, tell me more about the curse that the, hunt, the hunters suffer from. There is not much to say. Turn it a, stemmed a originally from Witherfang, but now any werewolf may infect someone with it. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of options. So did all werewolves everywhere stem from Witherfang? So if a werewolf bites me, then I will become infected? I'm a little worried about that. How do you know, or for Sten's sake, or the guys who are up close, you know? I'm a little worried about that. How do you know if you have been infected by the curse? How did this curse start? Uh, so all werewolves... So if a werewolf bites me, then I become infected? It is possible, but not guaranteed. The only way to protect against the curse Thank, is not thanks, to be buddy. bitten. <laughs> thanks for that advice. How do you know if you have been infected by the curse? You will know within a matter of days. So I have a couple of days. You will begin to sweat and vomit. And most tellingly, your temper will become wild and uncontrollable. If that happens to you, you should seek out... Even worse than having demon blood swiftly. running through you? Your mission at that point will be rather... personal. Fair enough. So all werewolves everywhere stem from other no. Okay. The ones from this forest, however, do. Localized lycanthropy. Lycanthropy. Makes sense. How did this curse start? But that where is a did long it originally tale I do not start? have time to tell. Okay. Ask Sayrel about it if you wish. Lower time. Time to get schooled. Uh, I want to ask about... On, uh, there's nothing else to ask, right? Okay, so I should go... I must return to caring for my people. And... Creator's speed on your way. Save game. Looking good, Stan. Um, I'm not going to open that chest. I want to find the equipment man. Equipment woman. Oh boy, a bunch of sick. 
I got quests. I'm not going to activate the quests yet. There we go. That looks like a man who sells things. Barathorn. What are Thorn. you doing? What happened? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Ferrothorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durganlin. This is, Durganlin. This is living wood. It requires Dwarf. patience and delicate hands, not more heat. Dwarf. My Durganlin. actions bring me sorrow, Master Ferrothorn. And so they should. Truly the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. And dare an Atitian friend. I, I dare it has been it. some years since you, I met friend. Master Island at the last gathering. Master Island. He is still hail, I hope. Who is Master Island? Who is Master Island? <laughs> I don't remember who this is. Should I know who this is? He was fine when I last saw him, yes. I don't know. I haven't seen my clan for some time. That's a safe answer because I don't Is that remember. so? Irabelos. To be separated from one's clan is to be separated from one's heart. I met your father. For he was once keeper of your was clan. Was my father? <laughs> My father many was of his features. the keeper. Of he spoke the at a gathering, telling the clans that more of us need to voyage into the Shemlin world and learn their ways. Uh, he would be proud to see his son a Grey Warden. Should I have known that? Should I have known that? What happened to my dad? I don't have a dad. My mom died. I know that much already. When you start the game, you choose your first name and then you're given a last name. I don't remember my last name, so is my name. Was that my last name? I don't know. I barely know anything about him. Thank you. That's kind of you to say. I really don't care what he might have thought. Uh, so I can... Maybe this game allows you to choose if you resent the fact that your father wasn't really a father figure. Or that you've just come to terms with your father not being around often for whatever reason. Or you can just be respectful. You can show respect. Xander's the kind of guy who he'd have come to terms with things being the way they are. Which is probably why he doesn't really get attached to people. But he's also, he, um, yeah, he would show respect. Cultural Our people respect speak no so little the of the dead. Especially those who end in, in tragedy. So he did die? I thought you in should tragedy? know. Regardless. How did he die? <laughs> I don't know anything about my parentage. I don't know how my father or my mother died. I would like to barter with you. You seem quite advanced in the old craft, Master. I should go. Uh, I'm curious. I'm just going to ask about this because it's a little lorry. And uh, he was having a thing with the apprentice there. I what little of the craft I've learned has this. been passed on to me through generations. Such is the time it has taken us to learn a fraction of what has been lost. Oh, wait a minute. I do not make bows as fine as Master Islands, perhaps, but might have I caused more than now. one Shemlin to drool at the thought of possessing them. There is wood that, if treated properly, is as hard as steel but one. far lighter. It grows only in this forest. Hilarious. Ironbark. I'll tell you in a sec. The keeper has forbidden us from entering the forest to collect the wood. And this means I cannot make our finest crafts for years to come. Okay, a couple points. So Master I I Island, I think, is the guy who was selling bows in the starting zone of the elves, in the, 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 of the Dalish. I think that was his name. That would make a lot more sense now that I have context. The funny thing with Iron Bark is that the original world I created that I originally created Xander in in 2003, so 13 years ago, I created these trees called uh, Iron Oaks. Uh, so that's kind of interesting that that strangely played out this way. Uh, what if I found some iron bark for you? Yes, that's a shame. Tough break. Yes, that's a shame. Now I'll just say I'll find some. I would be hesitant to ask it of you, but Maybe he'll make me if you should come across iron bark, I suppose there would be no harm in gathering some Ooh, armor well, it is armor blue and very distinctive you can only harvest the bark which has fallen off the tree from age interesting now, if you find some bring it to me and i will craft it for you what kind of item would you make we'll see i promise nothing very well i'll take a look when i'm in the forest no thanks i'm not interested i only have one option that makes sense to me which is what kind of item would you make i excel in making blades from the iron bark or, or perhaps a breastplate Provided there's enough wood, that is. I would take like a set of armor made of wood. That'd be friggin' sweet. Um, we'll see. I promise nothing. Very well. I'll take a look when I'm in the forest. Oh, yeah, I guess that one makes sense, too. Yes. That would please me. So long as our hunters come first. Uh, I would like to barter with you. I am no merchant, elf but fruit. let us trade. Let us Perhaps give me all your elf fruit. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. Elf fruit. I want all... Ooh, in a bow. I want a bow. 
Uh, before I waste all my money, I'm gonna look at the bows. I'm gonna look at the bows. I want an upgrade. Dalish longbow. It's the same as what I have, but it has Dalish in the, and it has rapid aim and it's now purchased. Um, there we go. Isn't this what this is all about? Oh, that's no, aim and this is rapid shot. I'll, yes. Whatever. It sounds better. Um, belts. Ooh, we got F rope. Warrior rogue. Nature resistance. I don't know how useful that is. And for one. One gold and 33. Uh, 20% nature. I don't know what creatures do nature resistance. Spell. Like nature attacks. I don't know what that is. Is that like poisons? I'm in, a, I'm in the forest now. If there's anything going to be doing nature damage, it's going to be now in the forest. But. For one gold? I don't know. Not right now. I'm going to see what happens. Uh, or are there any gifts I can buy? Anything like that? What? Well, yeah, right here. Oh, damn. I thought that corrected itself. So it still tells me more again. All right. So I guess it did a hard update to everything that's in the game. Even though it's uninstalled. The add-on that gives that look. That, what well, it doesn't matter. So I know this is for Morgan. Um, Silver Brooch. She talked about the mirror and the baubles. Pretty baubles. So I would have, like, those would have... I'd, I'd put that together. I'm going to buy this now. Uh, before I forget, um, oh, I'm not gonna buy any of the um, gifts from the dwarves at camp. It's just, it's just too, um, it offers too much value, and I don't want to scale through the game that way. I'm gonna play it out more organically, so I'm not gonna get any of that stuff. I think it's funny, <laughs> some of it, like the dog cone, hilarious, but I'm not gonna do it. Uh, maybe on the second playthrough, you know? Um, so I don't need any of this stuff. Ta traps. Po uh, I could buy potions, but you know what would be even better than potions? I should be under other, right? No? Maybe... What, oh, crafting. Crafting goods. Fuck. Man, I wish this was in order. There we go. 99. 66. Urgh, that's going to be expensive. Will this tell me? Oh. Oh, it's only half a gold? All of it. Um, Acid flask. Ooh, are there like splash bombs? I might do acid splash bombs. That would be a cool way to start a fight. Just have Zevran like th throwing acid bombs at groups. It's kind of expensive. That's a recipe. All right, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Uh, oh, that's right. I want to check this out. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget as soon as I click away from this. You'll see. I'll forget again. Uh. Weapons, I checked. Armor, I checked. And we're done. And we're. Oh, do I have anything to sell? I don't. Maybe? I guess I have this. Oof. I don't know. What's crappy? I guess. Yeah, but look at that. I mean, it's crappy. It gives that good. It, that crit bonus stuff and backstab, but at the end of the day, it's so cheap, though. Like, I'm gonna get so little back for it that I feel like I should carry it around a little longer. Wait, you can always buy stuff back, though, right? For all intents and purposes. Yeah, if I can buy things back, screw it. Let's lighten the load here. We gotta get on the road. So anything two or under, I'm getting rid of. I'll keep the dog stuff. Holy crap, there's so much stuff. That's got so many bonuses on it. I should probably put this in. Who do I give this to? I need to give this to someone. I totally forgot I picked up this Oda axe. Maybe Zevran takes this. Maybe a dagger and... I don't know. Fire damage? I don't know. We'll find out. I'm going to keep it. I can't make up my mind right now, so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to check for tier 2s or under. We have Dharma's Son. It's got a name, though. I feel like this needs to go into the party chest just because it has a name. But is that just the name of a... Oh, there's, there it is right there, though. It's just the name of a blade? An Elven? Is that what that is? Screw it. Let's... let's, let's... Oh, man, they got slots. Is it hard to figure out these slots, or is this like, do I just move those runes into these slots? Is that how these little slots work for these items? I'm going to let you guys get back to me on that. I'm going to leave that crossbow. I'm eventually going to pick up dwarf. I know I will. Yeah, I think I'm done. Gold ring. I don't need this gold ring. Get out of here. All right, that's it. I think I've done what I set out to do. I'm a little uh, over time here. I will cut it down. Uh, because I did a lot of merchant stuff. But for now, don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire, folks. I'll see you around next time. Peace, everybody. Move on. See? Angry voice. I don't like your angry voice. I had another question. Very well. <laughs> no, okay, that's then not I for now. I suggest we move on. Let's move on.